Welcome to Dinopedia, your dinosaur's channel. Important notice. All information and images used in this video are collected from the internet, therefore we cannot guarantee the veracity and level of fidelity of this data. What is its name? The name of this animal is Achillobator, also called Achilles Hero, or Achilles Warrior. These names refers both to this dinosaur's large size, and to the large Achilles tendons it must have had in its feet. Achillobator is a Greek and Mongolian combination for Achilles warrior. The generic name comes from Achilles, a famous ancient Greek warrior of the Trojan War, and the Mongolian word Bator, warrior, or hero. It refers to the large Achilles tendon needed to use the sickle claw on the foot, which was the major combat organ of dromaeosaurids. The one species is named Achillobator giganticus because it is much larger than most other dromaeosaurids. What is its size? This animal have around 5 to 6 meters in length, 20 feet, and about 2 meters high, with a weight about 250 to 348 kilogram, 551 to 767 pounds. Achillobator is considered to be one of the largest dromaeosaurs, along with Ostroraptor, Dacotoraptor, and Utahraptor. The holotype and only known individual of Achillobator is estimated at 6 meters, 20 feet, long, around the same length as the closely related Utahraptor. It was a large dromaeosaurid. What did it look like? The distinguishing characteristics were large size, huge claws on feet, odd alignment of hips. Similar to the Utahraptor, the skull of the Achillobator was similar to that of the Deinonychus. The Achilles tendons seem to have been particularly well developed, probably to account for the extra size and weight of the body, and were referenced in the naming of the genus. Pubis most forward bone of the hips points vertically down. In all other known dromaeosaurids the pubis points backwards similar to birds, something that often leads to the pubis pointing in the same direction as the ischium, the bone at the rear of the hips. The stocky and short hind limb ratio of a chilobator indicates that it was not an animal adapted for speed or to maintain high speeds. Moreover, the robust morphology of the maxilla suggests a predatory behavior based on large-sized prey. Achillobator was a deep-bodied and relatively short-armed dromaeosaurid with stocky and robust hindlines. In more recent and solid research Achillobator is classified within the dromaeosauridae, a group of very bird-like, maniraptoran dinosaurs, they were covered with feathers. What did it eat? This animal was carnivorous, probably a very skilled hunter. Achillobator is classified as a dromaeosaurid taxon, more specifically within the Eudromaeosauria, a group of hypercarnivore dromaeosaurids that were mainly terrestrial instead of arboreal or amphibious. Where did it live? Mongolia. Plains of Central Asia. When did it live? Late Cretaceous, Campanian period, about 99 to 84 million years ago. How did it behave? It was probably an active bipedal predator, hunting with the large sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each hind foot. A chilobator reproduced by laying eggs. The model RPR, Raptor Prey Restraint, proposes that dromaeosaurs leapt into their prey, immobilizing it with their body weight, and then hold it tightly with the large, sickle-shaped claws. Afterwards, the dromaeosaur would start to feed on the animal while it's still alive and the death will eventually came from blood loss and organ failure. The arms or wings, that were likely covered in long feathers, may have been flapped by the dromaeosaur in order to stabilize its balance while restraining prey. Along with this, the long, feathered tail probably worked as a counterbalance to the main body. Lastly, the snout would have been useful for finishing off its prey. How was it discovered? The fossil remains of a chilobator were first discovered during a Mongolian and Russian field expedition in 1989, though it was not described and named until 10 years later, in 1999, by Mongolian paleontologist Altangirl Pearl, and Americans Mark Norell and Jim Clark, although the description was not complete and was actually published without the knowledge of the later two authors. Fossil bones of a chilobator were found mostly disarticulated, but associated, including a fragment of the upper jaw with teeth, as well as vertebrae from all sections of the spinal column, ribs, and bones from the shoulder, pelvis, forelimbs and hindlines. These remains were found in the Bayan Shire formation of Dornogovi province, Mongolia, which dates to the late Cretaceous epoch. The exact age is uncertain, with two competing hypotheses, 
Based on comparisons with other formations, the Bayan Shire fauna seems to correspond best with the Turonian through early Campanian stages of the late Cretaceous, about 93 to 80 million years ago. However, examination of the magnetostratigraphy of the formation seems to confirm that the entire Bayan Shire lies within the Cretaceous Long Normal, which lasted only until the end of the Santonian stage, giving a possible Cenomanian through Santonian age, or between 90 and 83 million years ago. Other dinosaurs found in the Bayan Shire include Electrosaurus, Segnosaurus, Talarurus, and Bactrosaurus. The skeleton was discovered in sediments of the Burkhant locality, at Bayan Shire formation. No other findings were made by the expedition at this locality. It was found in fine-grained, medium sandstone, gray mudstone that was deposited dating back to the late Cretaceous epoch. Additional information. Achillobator is a genus represented by a single species of dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Achillobator have up to 20 feet long from head to tail and 500 to 1,000 pounds. Achillobator was one of the largest raptors of the Mesozoic era, exceeded only in size by the truly gigantic Utahraptor, which lived halfway around the world, in early Cretaceous North America, and making the much smaller Velociraptor seem like a chicken by comparison. What is not yet known about it? Achillobator does appear to have possessed some quirky anatomical features, mainly concerning the alignment of its hips, that differentiated it from its more famous cousins, which has led some experts to speculate that it may represent an entirely new type of dinosaur. One other possibility is that Achillobator is a chimera, that is, it was mistakenly reconstructed from the remains of two unrelated dinosaur genera that happened to be buried in the same location. Like other raptors of the Cretaceous period, Achillobator is often depicted as sporting a coat of feathers, underlining its close evolutionary relationship with modern birds. However, this is not based on any solid fossil evidence, but the presumed featheriness of small theropod dinosaurs at some stage during their life cycles. Reptile Data Scientific Classification E. Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata Clade Dinosauria Clade Sauricea, clade, theropoda, family, dromaeosauridae, clade, eudromaeosauria, subfamily, dromaeosaurinae, genus, achillobator, by Altangeral Pearl, 1999, type species, achillobator giganticus, by Altangeral Pearl, 1999, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, goodbye.